Hi, Milton. I didn't see you this afternoon. You missed a really good talk. Oh, did I? That's a pity. It was Mr. Brand's talk about fossils, wasn't it? Yeah. I hadn't really expected to enjoy it, but it was fascinating. I thought it would be. I'd been planning to go to the talk, but then when I was in the lab this morning, I realised I hadn't done any reading for tomorrow's history seminar. Well, I think he's going to repeat it sometime, but it may be next year. Perhaps you could tell me a bit about it then. Well, he talked about himself in the first part. I saw on the notice that went round that he went to America to study and met a famous anthropologist. Yeah, that's right. But he said he got interested in fossils well before then, when he was about six, in fact, and he found the most amazing fossil on a school visit to a national park. He showed it to us. He still has it. Though he said he wasn't looking for it at the time. <laughs> Most kids wouldn't recognise a fossil if they saw one. I know. They want to watch adventure films or play with model dinosaurs. But apparently he spent his school holidays hunting for fossils in the farm pits near his home. So does he lecture on the subject now? Yes, but he also runs a business organising fossil hunts for groups of adults and children. Oh, wouldn't it be great if we could do something like that? He showed us a lot of pictures. So they all go out in a group to the cliffs or somewhere with little hammers, do they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently. The kids tell everyone that's the best bit, tapping the stones to see if anything's there. Do they know what they're looking for? Yeah, <laughs> They get shown some examples of what they might find first. And do they actually get to find any fossils? Yes. Mr Brand showed some photos of children proudly holding up their fossils for the camera at the end of the day. <laughs> if they take them home, I bet they become prized possessions in their rooms as well. For sure. <laughs> he said he never stops being amazed at how close you can be to a fossil. I guess the children aren't aware of history that much. No, but for them, the key thing they learn is that if they keep looking, they will find something. Mm, you have to wait. It's not for people who want instant success. So why don't we go on one of these hunts? Well, yes, I'm quite keen. The hunts are fully booked until the end of the year, unfortunately. I could talk to some of the other students and see if we can form a group. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll give him a call. Then, if we have enough people, we might be able to get him to do an extra one for us. I'll look on his website when I get back to the dorm, just to, just to get a bit more information.